always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing so long the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday Fell in love with you right there and then I was young, couldn't see that Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Leo, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a review, a review on a tripod. This is the Vanguard Ultra Pro 26380. This tripod's been out now for 10 years on the market and it is probably one of the oldest tripods that Vanguard do. I've chose this tripod for the reason of anything that's got to be out 10 years must be my main quality because it's still for sale today. I mean, it's around £149.99, UK pounds, as it stands. And to me, that, 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 that's a good value, value after what I've just cost me when my old tripods collapsed on me and cost me a lens. So, you know, it, it, you, you spend how much money on a tripod, or on a camera, should I say. You spend how much money on a lens for what? To put it on something cheap. To fall over and snap something or break something is so it's a no-brainer now for me i use tripods for all my macro work i use it for my video work i've used now i've had this tripod now about a month should i say well just over a month and i've taken it out and i've done landscape photography with it i've done wildlife photography with it and i've also done me indoor macro photography with it and i can say that it's a nice bit of kit, it's a good bit of kit, and it's value for money. And I expected, because I asked for a second hand used one, so I could try and find a fault, but finding a fault on something this good is, is hard, trust me. And I've put it through the paces, as you've probably seen in some of my videos. The, 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 what, what draws me to Vanguard, uh, what draws me is the engineer, the ingenuity that's gone into these, these tripods. They really think about getting into handles and positions that a, a lot of tripods can't do. The legs, the legs go from 25 all or straight the way up to 80 degrees, which is ideal in any situation. So when they're spread out, you can actually get amongst the brambles or you can get over the flowers so you're not breaking anything. And that is a brilliant thing for me. I mean, the height, it's a it's it, it, it's huge it's 65 inches fully extended 65 inches which is taller than me should i say and that was very shocking and surprising and it, it does come in handy but when it's a 65 inches it's still stable also it's got a little look on the bottom yeah and this i can put a camera bag on it uh, or i can put a rock bag on it and it holds it even more for them you know i mean for them days also, as you can see, the rubber feet screw in and out. When you screw them in and out, it's got a spike on the end, and that spike helps to grip. Now, when people turn around to me and say, oh, what more than this on the other, and you need spikes, me personally, the way that this is domed and shaped, you don't need them spikes because it's rubber and it's grippy and the flat, now dome it is, it will sit level on it. Yes, it can hold up to 15 pound in weight, but you don't put nothing 15, and if you're gonna put something 15 pound on weight on a tripod, it's gonna sink, I don't care what feet or what legs you get. But when you're on rocks or anything else, being so rubbery, it sticks to those rocks and really makes a big difference. Yeah, them flip locks, as you can see, and fully extended out, and they're absolutely brilliant. And they go in and out like a, like a smooth action, I absolutely love it. But the main thing is, like I've just said to you, is the Vanguard technology, should I say. And that's this little beauty here. With a flick of a switch and a quick turn, the centre column goes up. The centre column is hexagon, which is a good thing because you don't screw around. If you want it to turn, you've got to turn that round to get it to turn, which is 
like a lovely fluid effect in it and it slides around really nice and neat and tidy. But there's a little switch at the bottom, a little safety clip, stop it popping out because you can take this center column straight out, as you can see, and that's not a problem. But all you do is you push it back in a little way, you flip that over, and look at that. Look at that, you can put that in any angle you want, and when that's spread out on the ground, you, you can put it anywhere. Also, just screw the ball head up, put your camera on top, and you, you, you're perfectly level. You, you've got it, it's nailed, you, you've, you've sussed it. But I love how smooth and I can get it in any angles. And not only that, I can push it, I can slip that down, and it goes all the way around, straight the way down to the bottom, like that. Then when your legs are opened up, as you can see, there you go. You know, you've got what you want straight away, haven't you? I mean, then just lock it off, and I'm done. And then you've got your perfect angle straight over. And I think that's a fantastic little idea from Vanguard. And all you do is flip the switch, push it over, clip the clip in, and it goes down. Now watch, watch this is the best bit, but I drop it. Look how smooth that went down. It just went smooth down there, a bump. So if your camera's on, if your camera was on the top of it, what's going to happen? You know what I mean? Nothing, because it's absolutely beautiful. The ball head itself is a Vanguard SBH 100 ball head, and it goes, like I say, 380 degrees all the way around, and it'll keep going until you keep turning. But when you turn it, it's lovely and soft. So when you're turning and you've got your camera on the top, instead of you tidying up and you're going juttering round, it ain't. It's actually nice and smooth, and I love that because you, half the times when you get a, a, another try, order a tripod, they click round, and you think you got that shot, you tighten that thing up, that little screw from wheel up, and then what happens? It moves. Not with this one. Once it's tightened, it's tightened. Lovely rubber grips on it. And oversized grip, so when it's cold, your fingers and finger uh, cold, you know, you can still tighten it up, but you haven't got to over tighten these because once you've got some old finger tightened up, it's solid, you, it, it, it ain't going nowhere, trust me. On the top of the ball head, see, I've got to, I've got to loosen it, turn it, that's a, that was only a little bit. Now, the actual base for the top of the camera is unique, and I like this style, I like this because. There's a little clip in the center, and what that does is, when you slide your pad on, when your camera's on, it can't come off. And then we tighten it up, obviously, otherwise, and then it's solid. It's solid. You want, you want, it ain't moving. It ain't going to go off anywhere, which is absolutely fantastic. The only thing is, it does come with a tool kit because on the other tripod, there's a little thumb wheel to turn it. And on this one, there isn't, but it does come with a kit to tie it on and tighten it on. But once it's on your camera, you don't really take it off anyway. So, you know, it's a no brainer there, really, sort of thing. It's also got some levels on the top, which is fantastic. I, I all my stuff up, but they are there if you want to get that perfect horizon shot or all that. And you know what I mean? That is, is, is fantastic. All I can say is all round. It's a fantastic tripod for something 10 years old. The technology 10 years ago was absolutely fantastic to come up with that. And whoever come up with it should be well proud of themselves. Now we have got the VEL 3 Plus, which we will be doing a review on, and that is even more up to date, but it'll take some beating. This, this, this tripod will take some beating, trust me. Now if you've enjoyed it, I'll just leave the links up at the bottom for Amazon or wherever you to have a look at. And like I say, specifications will blow your mind away just visit vanguard and have a look on their site and see some of their tripods and believe me what they write down on there is true to the word at the moment to me for me so all i can say is thank you very much vanguard for having faith and trust in me for sending me these tripods and i'm looking forward to doing the review on the next one and everybody you know what i'm going to say stay safe and happy snapping